Today is day 8 of Masters Madrid and we have one match today, the lower final between Sentinels and Paper X. This match is a best of 5, where the loser is eliminated and will take 3rd place, while the winner will go up against Gen G in the grand final. Paper X were the underdogs going into this one, but that was also true before yesterday's game when they beat Loud. You can see the maps for this series on screen there, Sentinels banned Breeze, Paper X banned Icebox, and the rest of the maps will play out in that order. Looking at the agents for Lotus, Paper X are running double duelists with a Cypher, Meanwhile, Sentinels have double controller with a Killjoy. Here are some of the highlights from Lotus. And nothing out of the ordinary really from Sentinels here either, kind of playing it rather standard, even with those Stinger Spectres and that Bulldog in the hands of Sassy. Sight now, pressured, something. Gonna be going first and actually overwhelmed, isolated again. These problems re-emerge and what a chance for success now for Sen. Can't quite get the weapons, but they're in touching distance. And PRX down two players is a huge loss here. Right, looking for something, but Ten's actually slipping into drop here. He's gonna send the paranoia. Not expecting too much of a push here, but Forsaken, the one to wrap this, will find Zelsis. Trying to allocate some safety on the site, maybe get that plant a feasible option. They're gonna go for it now. Limited utility left on Paper X. Sen, similar position, a touch here and there. You can hear it just going through from Sassy then. And they wait, poised, flooding back into the side. Mind free, great pick up towards second, but it's still dangerous. Still a man advantage to Sentinels here. Can they close that final gap or can Devai dig in his heels? This could be huge for Mind Freak, but it's not clean on the first attempt with an opportunity. Sentinels still going. No, still, still around. Made its cross over towards the door, so it could be again looking to explore, exploit that C site. Seek is going to come in. Zelsis needs to evacuate the site here. Monyet is commanding all this space. Yeah, this he's following that seeker all the way he can. Gonna post it. Doesn't get what he wants from it, but he's still, he's got them all of this safety! And wait, John QT just got two back! Something wait, tent! Oh wow. my god, what just happened this round? Drifting alongside each other. But it comes down to two. Devi and Forsaken with the time on their side. Ten still alive, takes TP. John QT and Zekken nearby now. Forsaken. Dicey way to play, but I caught off guard. Exactly Tens goes down. Now information free flowing from the ult. They're gonna note it, they're gonna see it. Forsaken needs to deliver on it. He can't. Zekken takes him away to buy. His moment to shine. Can he hold this? Yes, for the first he can. The second, absolutely to buy. That little information, that fact finder just tapping the orb over there, drawing out that little trap play. And the they instant response, here pretty quick though. they right. have responded very quickly. There's three on CT, they make it four. Flood. They are going to go back in on this. So they want a brawl. They might just get one. Sent on the other side, going to eat the paranoia, though. They're in trouble. Here's that battle. One for one trade so far. Flash going to set it in motion. They swing around the side. Something goes down, but Might Freak succeeds. They're down to just one now. Might Freak, that three, needs another. He's, the boots they're both are low. low. 21 HP. Oh, he's gone. Might Freak, fight second. And gets Paper X there first on the second half here. Is that a site? First time we haven't seen that stack Cover in now. play. And it's going to start investing the smokes. One towards topside CT. Clearing towards tree. It's Pacey. Sen uh, Paper X are here. Monyet is screwed. How is he alive that long? But second again. His name just constantly up in lights. And Tens wants in on the action. Demolishing Paper X so far. Freak Bike down with an opportunity, 2v2, making a 2v1, 10 just going around Spikes the world, remaining. leaving it all in Forsaken and Zelsis' hands. Spikes down in tree though, so Forsaken resets it, Zelsis has to try and dig him out of this spot, Lauren. How does he play at this time? Interested now. Spike back in hand 30 in 30 seconds. seconds. Zelsis really toying with the timing here. And considering that cam check, that's maybe implying he lost track, but now springs the trap. Forsaken just plays it out so well. Zels is maybe thinking he had a window there. Completely different setups here. And that early flash kind of indicated they might want to follow this sort of route. So again, Sentinel's trying to keep Sassy paper boxed in, boxed in here, yeah. The dog didn't see him. Oh, the po he still wins that. How does he win those? And now they respond, they know it's going to be towards A. You can see them trying to try and get towards the side. And, oh, one on the other side. Who comes out on top? It's Zekken. Of course it is. But the pivot, look at where Santa going. Something is here. TP back the again. Fake. Oh, it's just breaking ankles. Tens, can he get the plant though? He's behind the wire. He's almost in enemy territory. He's banking on second to keep him safe.
safe, and he does. Does he decide to reveal where that plant is yet? Smoke gonna go up there so close by. This is mind games from Sen. The TP Look, coming through. They're pushing, they're pushing the smoke. There's two players. Ten stands tall, gets two. Oh, Sentinels playing out of their minds here. But everything else is odds and ends. It's from the scrap draw, draw in the kitchen. This is rough, but they're trying to get aggressive. And maybe this is what Paper X needed. Oh, just Deathbox, just a bloodbath. And they're still doubling down. Sassy. Holds him away. But Defy! The triple aggress. What is this team? You can heal something as well. And he's back. Sitting pretty, but the clutch king himself, John QT, ain't got it in him. The back of the smoke. There we go. Hey, Paranoid. So the ult this early as well. It, I think it only caught one of them. Mind Freak falls away. No, he caught both. Tell a lie. And no way did Monya win that fight. Sassy clearing house, though. Seasight on a platter. Flank's coming in though early. Oh my God, something. reading it. He's made but noise. But something out of anyone. Why is it this man who could absolutely turn rounds around? Gonna take down Zelsis. Sassy wanted to avenge, wasn't given the chance. It's a 3v3 and they're here now. They're ready for this. Forsaken in CT, joined by Device. Still a flash, the dog and all of the good stuff. Something closing the gap. Oh, and Forsaken just walks in, knocks down the door. The plant's in though. John QT and Sassy, he's seen both of them. Something, he's closing the gap, they're closing in. But the swing back, Sassy, John QT, they won the fight. Oh, and something goes above and beyond for Paper X this round. Is Elsis. A little bit of damage, but no confirmation of anybody else here. And Sentinel still with two players over this side. It's, it's only drawn John QT. Yeah, there's still two tens being one of them. Zek and here, the heavy hitters, the big two, the one oh! two punch for Sentinels. And there they go, lining up the kill feed. You just don't want to face him right now. Monstrous hold from Sen. And that three play stack is walking John QT. Are you ready for what's around that corner? Deep flash. Notes him, but doesn't know where. That's going to call back all eyes. It's a fight in spawn once again. The round that nearly kept Paper X alive. Tens, the one to find one second on the fall up again. The headliners. From second. The TP, the TP is obscene. He let, oh, he let go. Do not let second pass. You've got to know better. The man's a mechanical monster. And now it's just to buy, to face the music. Map one on the line here. Sentinels looking large and in charge in OT. The time singing their song. How much can he do here? Sassy, Zekun, John QT, Zelsis waiting for that pixel to show that player to swing. And it looks like Zelsis will be the first to spot it. The follow up not going to happen. Zekun. Map 1 was a treat, and Sentinels took it in overtime 14 to 12. Tens and especially Zekin really stepped up here to get their team over the line. Meanwhile for Paper X, only something went positive. Looking at the agents for a set now, Sentinels have your standard comp, while Paper X is sticking with this Viper and Omen look. Here are some of the highlights from Ascent. It's time to start seeing what Paper X can do. The purchase in the hand, we can see if Tens can get away with his life. No, he cannot. Monyet, gonna put him away. Zekin gonna try and pick up the slack a little there. Spike en route, looking to be planted. They got themselves ready. Zekin trying to punish, stuck around as long oh, as he caught. could. Brought right back to the action, though they know he's close by, but can't do much to dissuade his positioning as it stands. And there's the swing, and there's the punish. One this guy remaining. is just something else. Sassy clearing the back lines. And what a sweep, Mike. Forsaken. And something trying to find some space on shore, but the Sentinel's looking to re-clear here, or proactively clear, I should say. Oh, something what? with the clothesline. What is that? And Monyak dives in. Paper X, the second you think they're out of it, they're back in. But Sassy, trying to slow down the pace a little. Carve out some control. Hunter's Fury instantly invested. Trying to do some serious damage to Vi, gonna fall. Recovered weapons in hand, though. And the plant to boot. What can Sassy and John QT do? Thrash back underway. Struggling on the steps, doesn't have legs. It's tricky. One enemy remaining. But it's forsaken to find John QT. Oh, mind freaking nasty with it! <laughs> Look at this. It, it just. Oh. And it, and it, I mean, hitting kind of like Zekin's classic, literally, to be honest. Literally. Just full sprinting. But can they repeat it? Wait, tense, tense, tense. Where are we going, tense? Oh, my word. For a second, did you forget who he is? Tens with
number two. Massive impact through middle. And oh, Zekin just wants back. The second that they've got to buy, I swear. This just goes completely up in the air. Here, Monyet down could be an issue. They know everything's coming from heaven now. Getting ready with a high flash. Trying to counter the Dizzy. Coming on in, buying a couple of seconds, and it does. Zels is now going to get that classic ready to go. Not going to be able to get the user this time. Forsaken, the one to break back in. They've cleared tens. Hold on. They're clearing the site. Zekin, how much can one man do? Not enough. It's on John QT. He's got a clutch up, and they line up. Another 1v1. How much can one man do? That's how much. Wants to bring into effect. Zekin, not noted. Either gets played Still in. Still finds it. Still going to catch something. I mean, the time is just a little bit off there with the Prowler as well. Zekin's allowed to reset. I'll find you. Oh, does Forsaken go fact finding? Another bite. He is. And this is looking like it's a trap waiting there, shouldered. He's, He's got to be careful. There. Does he get away? Going to pop the ult? Are they going to just go off this? I think they are. There is another player on the side, but look at that. Sassy's caught him. Do they know about Mon yet? They absolutely don't. There's still a chance. Can he hold this together? Can one man deny the entirety of Sentinel? Oh my no! god! No, is Zekin doing that to him? Devastating play. Just on the warpath. Sentinel's gonna get another here, surely. Mind Freak is already backing a little here. Given no avenue forward. Revealing area. Actually, that should just be the green light for Sentinels to hit yeah. B here, yeah. So much util, so much Mind scene. Freak has to anchor. Good luck. He's committed as well. Gonna spot a couple of players here. They're gonna know there's at least two towards CT early. All gonna come through, TP taken. Dizzy's gonna be sent. Zekin's still alive and breathing, but gotta move. Can't make it worth it this time. Gonna get pinned down, something with the punish. But what? there's the answer right back. Tens and John QT in unison. Still a problem on the site though. Can Tens get out? He's got his TP, he's been caught. Mon yet with a critical kill. Gonna send the showstopper down. Paint shell to follow. But it's the spike being left there. They're going to invest the lockdown. They're trying to fight for that spike and get it in hand. Execution. John QT on the drive-by. They're trying to stand and fight, but they can't deal with John QT. Monyet falls at Sentinels post 12. Yeah, and, and again, so much shown early on. They're just going to continue this war path straight towards the A site. Mind Freak has to dump everything at the front door to try and slow things down, but it, doesn't. it does nothing. No. Floodgates are open, Mike. That plant's coming in. I don't know what can stop it now. Tens. What are you up to there? Thinking about something, but decides against it. Flash in, maybe, from Zelsis, but... Got no flashes left. It's a, f it's a fight on three fronts here. CT, you got tree, and you got the T side of it, but there's so much going on now. TP it out. TP away, Forsaken swings the site, and now here comes the crunch. Where's Tens gone? It's a big question. Forsaken still fights. He's rapping, mate. Still trying to do it. This is going to be on Tens. You've got to see Sassy by time. He's got to try and play this fight. Oh, oh he yes, plays yes. so well, and they have no idea about Tens. Now it is time to show. The set was pretty one-sided as Sentinels took it 13 to 6. You can see for yourself right there, Zekin was just absolutely on one. 223 was his average damage per round, not even his ACS. Looking at the team comps for split, the agents themselves are all the same, but paperbacks have shuffled around a lot. For example, Forsaken is now on the sky. Here are some of the highlights from Split. But right side, right play, Sen on the way. Rifles here, counter play down towards ramp. They want to take back that pressure. Monyet with a fantastic pickup. Dubai doubles down. Paper X starting to ignite here. They've got themselves into a 4v2. Zelsis and John QT have nowhere to go as well. Look at the flank position coming out from Mind Freak. This is fantastic. Yeah, 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 John QT going to get caught. It's just Celsius left to try and recover this. Forsaken's low as well. Chance to play back in here now on 1v2. Oh, dearie me. And he's not he's seen Mind Freak. Flank, yeah. So he'll start thinking, where the hell's this guy at? He's ready so well. Celsius, you serious? After all that work, is this how it happens? And with 53 seconds, he's got time to play with. 19 bullets left, though. Hit in the back pocket. Something Chance. on the run. Yeah. A chance here to get the spike down cleanly because something's not moving too quickly just yet. There it is. Spread awkward, but something's diving at, in. Very something's, good coverage. Look at look at his positioning. Surely Zel does Zelsus consider this? He does! Nothing can stop him! So many bodies here, Mike. He's still taking the fight. Does he live? He does! That's ridiculous. How is he breathing? 
Paranoia sent just to slow it down to give him a bit of safety. They weren't even that close, but he gets away. The problem is this tends to fall as well, so it's only the utility really of Zelsis that can train. help them out in this, this situation. But it's invested elsewhere. Sentinels regardless. Force their way in. Zelsis actually finds an opener. Healing over here. Brings it to a 4v4. The heal comes through from Sassy as well. So it looks like the plant. No, the pop flash turned not well enough by Zekin, but he gets a second chance of that. Forsaken went for Zelsis. Zekin healed back up. Goes again. Zekin is absolutely ripping him apart this round. 30 seconds left. Has he got any more? Yes, he does. Zekin! What is this guy made of, Mike? The rechallenge here from something is just so far ahead of Divide. The Trailblazer comes through, clears some space down on ground level at least, but I think spotted here. Zekin doesn't get it, but Sassy the one to close things out. Here, ult galore. This could be bloody. Buying what they can, missing a couple of pieces, but have those, that was still a headshot, but it was sharp from something. Plays in Forsaken, and he's got so many targets, he can only get one, but it swings out from the rest. Perfect work from Paper X, well positioned. They got rounds to test with. Yeah. Can't let it get too far, because John QT, I've got to say, I've enjoyed his work specifically on this map, backbone of holding this site. For now, we're gonna find two early. Something in Forsaken both go down right off the rip. So they need someone to over deliver here. They need a bailout, be it Mind Freak, be it Monyet, be it Devai, it doesn't really matter, but they need someone. And look at the discipline from Sentinels. Instantly sitting back yeah, to the CT. Absolutely. See now Devai removing this trip. That's an indicator for Monyet in future rounds. He's got a couple of uh, high trips to try and overcome. Does he get played, Mind Freak here? Oh, second. Okay, Monyet did get the trade there. He looked like he had an angle on that. Yeah. I'd, uh, and they've got time, and all the rotations are coming to this site. They could dip through vents if they fancy it. They don't know this, obviously. Oh, God, Monyet! This guy is so sharp, making something out of this round. And he's drawn the attention from CT. He's trying to play in his teammate, Devai. He's trying, trying, back as well. trying to help out. And he's got them a plan here. Devai does get noted. The paranoia does not land. And Monyet! What a moment for him! Can he get the pin? Yes, he can! What an outrageous round. It's looking like we got a series, and Monyet is on the hunt. Pick it up where he left off. Another victim found! This is a lifetime performance for him here. And that is the first pick with still one minute and 24. Nice response. Tens shuts down the Lurk on the other side of the map. The Seekers go through, and there's the counter burst. He's been found, but the burst through on main's already come in. b site is lost. Do they continue on this path? Something looking for the fight, but he has to get away. Spike's out, though. They're out B-Main. There's a bit of a gap here. Something, if he can do any damage, find a kill, maybe. Just can't pin it down, but Mind Freak finds a response. Oh, and Mind Freak keeps going. It's all on John QT. Can he keep him alive in this map, or are Paper X taking us the distance? They are! Monyet woke up on split, and Paper X took the map 13-5. On the attack half alone, Monyet went 15-2, and, and Sentinels really had no answer for him. It's crazy that Sentinels used to look so dominant on this map, but now have lost at 5-13 twice in a row. Looking at the agents for Sunset, both teams are running the Gecko. Paper X of course then have the Sage and a Duelist, while Sentinels have Zekin on Raids. Here's some of the highlights from Sunset. Pry some of the Sentinels players away from position on B. Plant gonna come in. Wall to CT. And here we go. This is when it all gets a little fun, doesn't it? And that's a start. Something takes down his opposing number and gets to just play the angle. Here to throw some utility around the corner as well. Just to slow Sentinels down. Oh, another oh. headshot found. Might even find Tens through the box. No, he doesn't. He's still got Dizzy to throw over the top as well. Look at the stall. Look at the utility stall on this, Mike. It's so difficult to get around that corner. And CT just wasn't accessible for most of the players. Yes, Zekin's going to find Mind Freak, but they're still trying to break back in. Hold up! Oh, no way! Not again! It's magic in Madrid for Monyet! They are walking into a lot of players, Mike. Actually, the plant's sent through here. Got the Mr. Eden, John Hello? QT not showing his hand just yet. Finally, no! does reveal no! himself. He gets two. It's a disaster for Paper X. Made a meal out of it, and now there's a real opportunity. Can he still cause more problems? Yes, they can with tens. But the fuse is coming through. Oh, my word, my freak. Oh, just he stopped got it. Off. He just about stopped it, but it's not going to change any of the outcome. 
problem being it's unbreakable, so yeah. they try and catch this early timing. They have to give up the info. Yeah, and, it's, and, and I, and I kind of like the response here from Sentinels by almost overstacking this. Because it really then can be hard to... It almost dissuades Paper X and those leaked around to be going back in for that challenge. Still creeping up on this, though. Okay. Sticking to their guns. Get him, wing. The wingman's down. One yet. Drifting onto a deeper angle here. He's got Zekken and Sassy to overcome here. Still... Zelsis in close proximity as well. A knife should have caught at least two players, I would have thought. Forsaken, where did he find that space? And the instantaneous response, though. Zekken doubles down He's towards looking, Elbow. He's looking to wrap this. And Forsaken... Oh, my God, the timing. I don't know who saw who. No one no, saw anyone. Nobody saw anyone. They, they, they're, they, they're, they're following each other. They have no idea how close they are. Bye-bye, Forsaken. Now yeah. does reveal a little of a position, but they're left with so few standing. It's Defy with a res and all oh, the information just going to be sent right back through. What can two players do here? That's same a great that start. Well. Yeah, okay, all from the same position. Paranoia not going to fight. Um, that was a little bold from Tens. And Mindfreak can just catch the cross, try and tee up Defy. Anything to disrupt him, not really. And the that cross, so play deadly, play. he plays ahead of it. Could have waited. Sentinels. They might even catch Monyet ahead of his execute. They absolutely have. I think maybe one smoke went in at best, but Ten's still here already, herding them around this map and waiting for that cross. Sharp as ever, he's getting one. He's got the three! Anymore! He's at least got Wingman as well, but Ten's just holding that cross. Seeing any more pressure towards mid. Monyet must be on red alert, and Ten's dangerous on the angle. Going to fall off this one. May not note the full extent of presence. Something. Oh, John QT with the backup. Ten's never fighting alone here. The pressure on the site starting to mount now. Got themselves safe passage, though. Cross is easy enough. And actually, Monyet punished as well. Forsaken finds a response, though. Zelsis will fall. Brings it to a 3v3. Spike still not planted, but coming through now from the wingman. We'll give Sentinels a chance to fully reset on the back of this. Yeah. And Tenz is looking heated up, though. Look at this timing and look at the positioning. He could be the dagger in the back or he could just wait. Let's this is see so much feels. info, Lauren. Yeah, he's clearing as he goes. 30 HP is probably all he needs. Maybe not even a fair fight on this. They've just got to buy some time because the Reaper's on the way. He's going to spot one, take him down. They know there's going to be more. Doesn't get more, though. A 2v2 here, Divine Forsaken. Still a little time, but this angle's so hard to clear. So brutal to try and pass away, to try and push them away from Defy. Desperate. He needs another fight here, and he needs it fast. But I don't think he's got the time for this one, Mike. It's going to be close, but not close enough. It's 12 for Sentinels. But it looks like a brawl, Mike. I'm seeing everyone in middle, but Defy, the one to bail them out, but Sussy's still this there on it. the back lines. They're hunting them down, they're chasing them down. Something saving Paper X. He's put us down to 1v1, and of course it's going to be Tens. Is he the one to do this for them? The return to the international stage like this. Can you be the man to step up? Mind Freak on the other side. And the time ticking. He's taking a look towards CT just as Mind Freak starts clearing the site. Does he read it correctly? He's going to hear this. Did he spot him? Did he see him? Two already in the round. A third would be needed. He's creeping closer. Mind Freak's not stopping. He's got to check. And he does! Sentinels were far too good on Sunset and took it 13 to 3. Tens really showed up here going 20 to 9. And the rest of the team looked great as well in a really dominant showing. For the series as a whole, Zekin put up insane numbers despite having a relatively quiet map 3. So, this means that Paper X take 3rd place at Masters Madrid, meanwhile Sentinels will have a rematch against Gen.G in the Grand Final.